Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is um, beginners. Beginners. Beginners yeah. uh, video cast. Okay, we're doing a test, a test of your beginner's ability in Spanish. Cynthia's put together a test. Okay. So, Cynthia, this is what what level is this? Would you say beginners? <laughs> But would you say A one or A two? A one, A two. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've I've done a bit of a mix. All right. Okay. Um, All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. You, we'll you see can how tell we do. Me. Okay. So off we go. Right. There are twelve. Yes. There are twelve questions. If you get six right, you've passed the exam. Yes. There we are. Um, you'll have the question below. Or uh, above, well, I, I'll above put it somewhere. You'll be able to see it anyway. Yeah? <laughs> you'll see the answers and pick the one that you think is correct. Okay. Número uno. ¿Dónde mm, David? And you've got the options there. You have to choose the right option. Mm -hmm. Gordon. Which one would you go for? Okay, so I would go for ¿Dónde está? David. Okay. Well, we'll say that C is impossible because we're talking <laughs> about David, so it can't be eres, uh -huh. because that would be for you. Exactly. So why not? Why esta and not es? Well, because we're talking about location. Okay. Uh, the location of a person. And esta is used for location, mm -hmm. except for that one exception of events, but we use even... The church that's been in the square for a hundred years is still está en la plaza. So we uh -huh. use esta, yeah? Muy bien. Okay. Número dos. David, mm, en la Universidad de Alcalá y mm, en San Fernando con sus padres. <laughs> Gordon. Okay, so I'm going to go for B. B. Estudia and vive. And why would you go for B? Well, because estudia is third person. We're talking about David in third person. Estudio uh -huh. and A is I study. So that doesn't work. Uh -huh. So he studies uh -huh. and also he lives. And you've been tricky by putting sus padres yeah. and then an option for vive. <laughs> But yes. we're talking about David and not his parents. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so I tried to catch you there. So that's yeah. why I put vive in. Because Very I put tricky. his... Uh, his parents. Very tricky. But it would be, we're talking about David, so David studies and David lives. Lives, exactly. Sí. Yeah. Número tres. Los cuadros no son muy mm, pero son mm, para el pasillo. You can always pause, you know, if it takes a little bit longer for you to, sure. to pick. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, so I'm going to go for C. Grandes perfectos. Sí. So why why C? Well, because we're talking about los cuadros, which is plural, and we're using son, so the, uh, it's got to be plural, and the only <laughs> two that are both plural are grandes and perfectos. And obviously cuadros are masculine, mm -hmm. and perfectos are masculine plural too. Okay, so what does it mean? So so the uh, the paintings are are not very big, but they are perfect for the for the corridor. The okay, passage. so in English you would say perfect, you don't say perfect. No. But in Spanish it has to match, the adjective has to match the noun. And the noun is los cuadros, plural, masculine. So the adjectives have to match. Yeah. So we've got grandes and perfectos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it finishes in E, it usually doesn't change to A o O. Just has an S on, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, número cuatro. Lo siento, no... Okay, so I'm going for uh, C. No puedo ir. No puedo ir. Okay, so why C and not, for example, A? Well, we've got puedo, which is conjugated. So after a conjugated verb, typically you're going to use the infinitive. You can't say puedo voy because that's I can, I go. Yeah. So and it, it B would it, the verb needs to be conjugated. That's an infinitive. So. Not to be able, I'm sorry, not to be able to go doesn't really make any no. sense. Yeah? Yeah. That's why it's not the only option C. 
But sometimes when you have a conjugated verb, the following verb is also conjugated. For example, if you have, we are eating, and mm -hmm. you have the gerund, for example, yeah. or I have cooked, and mm -hmm. the second verb goes in a yeah. past participle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you've got puedo, I can, or I can't, in this case, no puedo, and then go in infinitive, yeah? yeah? Um, That's why you'll hear some sp Spanish speakers who are learning English just at the beginning and they say, I'm sorry, I can't to go. For example, in English, you do the same in English. This is the same. Let's do it in third person because it's easier. Uh -huh. So let's say, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, she isn't able to go. You don't say she isn't able to go. That's right. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. it's to go. <clears throat> uh, cinco. Uh -huh. Los hijos de mi hermana son... What are they? Okay, so son mis sobrinos. La B, mis sobrinos. Ah. Muy bien. Okay, so this one, I think it's... I mean, you have a few clues there. Well, the plural. The, the plural. The, the plural, so not the other Children option. of my <coughs> sister. And we do it that way, the children of my sister. You yeah. do it the other way. My sister's children. My, si my sister's children. And we say the sisters of my children. Of my the children. children of my sister. <laughs> the, the children of my sister. Yeah. Are my nephews. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nephews, nieces and nephews. N do you yeah. have a generic No. We have to say my my nieces and nephews. Yes. Mm -hmm. We would we could say sobrinos and that would include both genders. Mm -hmm. But if you, if they were only like girls, sobrinas, boys, sobrinos. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> eh, seis. Perdone. Mm. Una cafetería por aquí cerca. Okay, so I would choose C, I. I, okay. Why I? Right, if it was la cafetería, mm -hmm. I would use esta. What's the difference? Because we're asking, is there a exactly. cafeteria? Is, is there a? So you yeah. don't even know where, if there is one. Yeah. So is there a caf cafeteria or cafe or whatever? Yeah. So I is there same in is English. There, is yeah, there? Exactly. Is there is? Is there? I. Yeah. Typically, and typically with I, you're going to use un or una. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Um, because you're not going to say I la cafeteria. It wouldn't work. It would yes. sound weird. That wouldn't it? Uh, I l or I. You know that doesn't go. So I un I una I unos. You will hear it, by the way. You will hear people you using hear, I You can hear anything, but it's not right. Like in English, you can hear loads of things that are not right. I first. Hey, loads. don't throw it back at I've, us. I've I'm heard. talking about the errors in Spanish. All right. <laughs> Shoving it back to English as well. And there's lots in English as no, well. No, I'm just saying that in every language, people that speak the language Absolutely. make a million yeah. errors. Um, okay. Number Numero seven. siete. A mí no me gusta mucho cocinar. Mm. Okay, great question. Uh, I'm going to go for B. Y a ti. Y a ti. Okay, so why a ti and not tú? Well, first of all, I mean, this is such such a common error that we, we all make when we're learning, is me gusta... Cocinar is cooking is pleasing to me. That's what we're saying. We're not saying I like it. Cooking is pleasing to me. And so when you want to throw that question out to somebody, you've got to say, and to you. You're not exactly. saying, and you. Cooking yeah. is pleasing to me, and to you. Exactly. And because we use a, which is a preposition, it, it can't be followed by tu. It's got to be ti, because ti follows prepositions. Exactly. Yeah? So after a preposition like de... Not con, because that would be contigo, contigo, with you. That's a one word. But de ti, para ti, para mí. Por ti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, Por the, ti. all of the prepositions. Yeah? Yes. Muy bien. Eh, número ocho. No lo sé. Depende mm, cuándo. Mm. You are, you, this one, you either know it. Or you, don't. Or you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't it's guess. Only, it's the sound, yeah. isn't it? It's the sound. So I would say, uh, e de, depende de cuándo. Muy bien. So it's depende de. We, in, in Spanish we say depends of. 
Yeah. Yeah. You say depends, depends on, on, but we say depends of. Depende de, depende de cuando. It depends yeah. on when. The nice way to remember that, because we use it a lot, is depende starts with de, and that's the preposition. That depende de, de, depende de, de. de. and it's uh -huh. got it finishes with de as well. Uh -huh. Depende de, uh -huh. so just exactly. remember the Lots sound. of days going on there. Yeah. yeah? Uh, número nueve. Yo mm, mm, a las siete y media, pero Gordon, true story, mm, mm, a las ocho. <laughs> true story. Okay, sorry, can you see properly? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for um, B. Me levanto, se levanta. Okay, muy bien. Um, Why did you choose? Well, well, first of all, you're talking about yourself. So I'm looking for the first person, which is, although this is reflexive, it's me levanto. Well, the first one is clear that it's me levanto because it's me levanto in all of them. Yeah, me levanto, all me right, levanto, there me you levanto. Are, yeah. So okay. I yeah. wake myself, I, I mm, get myself raise up. myself up. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get myself up. Um, you raise me, me, up. Raise me up. Yeah, okay. In this case, I raise myself yeah. up. A las siete y media. Pero Gordon, so Gordon would be the third person. Third person. He, yeah. he, he, Gordon, yeah. Because I've heard um, lots of people use the second person. Mm -hmm. Te levantas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or te, when they want to use third person, they use the second. Yeah. Yes, that's why I uh, did letter A. So Gordon and the third person will be se, se, se levanta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, See? super, yeah. I mean, the, the, the reflexive... Are, are challenging because you've got this extra pronoun and you but the great thing about reflexive is that if you think of the person just think of the person the pronoun always agrees with the person you know if you know me te se nos o se it never changes you can't have a reflexive verb and have the pronoun being different to the to the conjugated verb then it's not reflexive anymore yeah i mean you can wake <laughs> someone else up Yeah. You can wake yourself up. That would be reflexive because I'm doing it to myself. Yeah. Yeah. I mm -hmm. do it and I receive it. That's reflexive. But then I can use that verb and make it not reflexive. Like I wake him up. Then that's yeah. not reflexive because I'm doing the action and he's exactly. receiving it. Yeah? Levanto a Gordon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, or le levanto. Lo mm -hmm. le, o lo levanto. Would it be lo le? Because the leismo here in Spain. Lo levanto. Lo levanto. <laughs> lo levanto. I wake him. Yeah. Uh, up, alas. But there's no prep. There's no preposition. Uh, there's no um, pronoun there because it's not reflexive. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, número 10 um, En mi casa mm, seis. Okay, so I'm going for a. Somos seis. Uh, yes, en mi casa somos seis, and this is because well, we've we've got a full stop. Somos seis. Uh, and in English, it's like, it's six of us, yeah? Yeah. In, at home. At, yeah? at home, there, I would say, at home, there are, there are six of us. There are, yeah, there are six uh, of we us. We would use I. Yeah, there are six of us. Uh, we would say we are. in At home, we are six. Yeah. We are six at home, okay? Now, will letter C be correct? Because I'll have some people saying, let us see, particularly... Um, um, Spanish-speaking people. Uh -huh. Let us see. It could be right. Could be right. En mi casa hay seis. At, at home there are six. But because there's no more information, there are six what? Six cats? Six. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That six would only people. happen to, as a follow-on to something like, uh, in, in my house there are six cats. What? Well, en mi casa hay seis. En mi casa, yeah. In my house there are five dogs. Or oh, in my house there are six. Uh-huh. Yes, but that would be because there's a context and I know what we're talking about. So that's uh -huh. why I could say, en mi casa hay seis. But because there's no context, we only have that sentence and it has a full stop. There's no more information after that. The, sen the sentence means, at home, we are six. We are six. six people. There are six of us. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Somos seis. Uh -huh. eh, número once. Ahora estamos mm, y mm, una película muy mm. <laughs> Three, three gaps. Okay, well, you've made this easy for me because I'm focusing on una película, so I know it's got to be B. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. If you know that, then 
Yeah. So we're using the um, the gerund, aren't we? Estamos comiendo está y viendo muy bien. una peli muy buena. Muy bien. So it has to be that one. Exactly. So that's it. So we now we're eating and we are watching a very good film. So film is feminine, so buena. It's it's interesting that with the gerund you can bold on other gerunds. So you saw estamos comiendo y viendo una peli. Yeah. What's interesting is with the um, present perfect, with the e, you can't. You can't bold on other past to, participles. No, we tend to add the have yeah. again. You I say, have eaten and I have watched. Yeah. We don't tend to say I have eaten and watched. No. For some Which reason we do we, in English, but in Spanish. Yeah, no. in Spanish we tend to add the verb again. But we generally end up, we are a bit more flexible. I mean, you could say estamos viendo y estamos, estamos comiendo y estamos viendo una película. You could say that. Absolutely. But to save time, we would say estamos so comiendo y viendo. So that's a little bit more passive. Yeah. <laughs> They're loud. And the last one, number 12. Hay un autobús que va mm, a Aranjuez, mm, Toledo y sale mm, las ocho y media. I like this one. So I'm going to go for A. Okay. De Aranjuez a Toledo y sale a las ocho y media. Muy bien. So why, why de? Mm -hmm. So there's a bus that goes from from uh -huh, from Aranjuez, Aranjuez to Toledo. To, so a Toledo y sale at. So how do you say y sale in English? And it leaves. It leaves, okay. So we would say and it comes out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Leave, well, leave, mm -hmm. come out. Muy bien, Gordon. Pues eh, creo que has aprobado. Pues, <laughs> Con un qué alivio, <laughs> qué alivio. Sí. How did it go? Mm. Just write um, the comments. I, I, I'll read the comments and I'll comment on the on comments. comments. <laughs> what will be interesting is to see um, whether how many Spanish speakers actually do the test. Because this one, I think that a Spanish speaker is going to get 12 out of 12, I think. Ah, yes. There are no tricks in no. there for, for Spanish speakers. No, there are no tricks for... I mean, the only one that I think that they would say something is the... the we are... There, I, are, I, there I, are six of us or... Uh -huh. Yeah, but I've explained, so now uh -huh. they can't say that I haven't explained. <laughs> Be explained in English. Uh -huh. well, well, yeah, oh, yeah. well, well. They, they speak English. They speak anyway. English, they speak yeah. English. Eh, entonces, Cintia, muchas gracias a por eh, preparar las preguntas. A ti. Y ahora... And now, a word from our sponsor. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias, eh, Julie, por <laughs> ese mensaje. So, what are, we, what are we pushing this week? What are we, what, what are we what pushing? Are what, what, what goods? Yeah? <laughs> this book, por y, Pocket Por y Para. Okay, por and para, it's not por y para. Um, we, we, can you remember Michael? I used to um, give Michael? lessons to uh, Michael, uh, the, the gentleman who, who was very generous and gave us gifts and, and a coupon to go and spend in that shop that was so expensive that we could only find a scarf or oh, something. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what the name of the shop was. Um, oh, the, is that very expensive shop in the UK? It was... He, he gave us this coupon, oh, and, we, and it was a very amazing. generous amount of money. So we went there. It, it uh, it's like is it, you know House of Fraser. It's one it was, name. It's it just one name, isn't it? Beyond House of Fraser, <laughs> okay. Like in in you know yeah, you walk in know. and it smells of God. So um, we went in with this voucher, and we oh looked, God, and the yeah. prices were so it was so expensive that we couldn't. I mean, literally, we were thinking about buying an umbrella. Didn't we buy something for Sebas? And when we just, was yeah, we spent it on, on we Sebastian. Se because something for Sebas, yeah. Just like little things. Maracas or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, or a scarf or something, I don't remember. But uh, the reason I mentioned him was because when he used to tell, leave me messages about chalk and talk. Uh, Louis, uh, Louis? No. Ah, yeah, John Lewis. John Lewis. John, John Lewis. Lewis. Oh, my goodness, that was expensive. John Lewis. I've been in there once. Never again. Um, <laughs> so, and he used to call chalk and talk, chalky talk. Chalky talk. Chalky yeah. talk. And that used to always make me laugh. Yeah, chalky talk. talk. I was listening to <laughs> in the chalky talk. Uh, anyway, 
Por and Para. This book is not, surprisingly, it's not one of the most popular books that we've, we, the most popular books are ones in, about the past and said in the start. But this is really handy. This book, you know, Por and Para is probably, it's, it's a preposition that we've got to use a lot. It's, it's one of those things that even when people that are advanced, every now and then they still have questions about por and para. Would that be por and para? Would yeah. that be por and para? I, I, I do. I still, I mean, I, you know, we wrote this book together and I still have questions about por and para because, because it's like 95% is pretty much rules and then 5% is just like total. Most. Like totally, yeah. Like no pattern. Yeah. No art. pattern. Art. <laughs> yeah, Rules art. and then art. <laughs> the five percent, the part that is art. But anyway, this book's really handy. This is the next book that I'm going to do in audio as well, because I think it'll be a lovely little audio book for people to listen to. But the book's, I mean, it's not big. It's an easy one to go through, and I promise you that by the time that you get to the end, you will be able to control por and para at about ninety percent. That's my, that's my promise to you. Okay. Yeah. Big promise. It is a big promise. <laughs> but if you read the comments from people, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Entonces, eso es todo. Y ahora, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.